Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. A record number of Americans are quitting their jobs. No one wants to work in dead end jobs anymore. Everyone wants dignity of labor. Everyone wants to be able to earn a respectable wage and everyone wants time off. More importantly, I think many of our fellow Americans have reevaluated their priorities and they're not they're not scared of working hard. We are all hard workers. We are all innovative. We are all intelligent. We simply want to be able to work in an environment where we are paid well. We want to do the kind of work that we are good at. and we want to do the kind of work that gives us the dignity that we need at work we don't want to be treated like machines we are human beings welcome to this channel everyone my name is dr nitin choda this right here is a little bit of information about me check out who i am what my journey has been like and why you should listen to me take a minute to check out that video and you'll discover my journey and how i was able to overcome the cycle of poverty here's a headline of an article on your screen a record number of americans are quitting their jobs here's how they make money after they quit folks this is called the great resignation and people who quit or people who retired how are they actually making ends meet many are actually counting on their savings and social security as always i'll give you a link to this article in the description section below a lot of people are actually quitting or retiring and so if people are quitting or retiring how are they getting by financially this was actually examined in this article and i'll quote directly from the article some retirees said that although the pandemic nudged them into retirement faster than they expected it also brought relief from the expenses incurred in pursuing their careers in other words a lot of people are actually finding that simply taking it easy slowing down living off your savings and to some extent unemployment benefits through 18 months of unsuccessful job searching may actually have led to people saying hey you know what i'm just going to get by on my savings on my 401k and in some cases depending on your age getting by on social security some people actually feel that giving up their job is allowing them to have something they never had before and that is time according to kathleen corcoran giving up income is stressful but then you realize some of that money is going for things to de-stress you from work once i sat down and looked at the numbers i realized retiring was doable and what i was getting in return was time to pursue things i really wanted to pursue such as seeing friends writing reading and volunteering kathleen now teaches part time a job she finds i quote rewarding in a way that goes beyond a paycheck now a former office manager in maryland who actually withheld her name because of tension from her former boss has no regrets about retiring early here's a quote if i had waited until 70 i would have received 300 dollars more per month but she says she weighed her sanity against that financial loss and decided to take the leap i'm so happy that i did this is extremely interesting folks because a lot of people simply want to be able to live life on their own terms and now here's another quote from jason s of new york city who actually asked for partial anonymity although his wife works and they have 6 months worth of savings jason being out of work is taking a big bite out of their finances and he said so this is not sustainable even in the medium term his job search priorities are shifting taking a lesser paying job with health insurance over a no benefits contract job would be a no brainer for me now so as you can see folks every situation is a little different and here's a direct quote from this article one common theme among the people who shared their stories with this article with this with the reporter at the washington post they don't take their relative fortune for granted now here's the problem folks most low wage earners and even middle income earners don't have much savings in fact i did do another video on our channel where 20% of our fellow americans saw their savings completely wiped out yes you heard that right they saw their savings completely wiped out during their pandemic in fact even before the pandemic as a direct result of rising costs of living in fact according to the washington post rising costs of surviving they resulted in a situation for many low and middle income workers where they had no savings in fact they were not able to build a cushion or anchor themselves with real estate stocks or some other investments uh, many of our fellow americans have student loans medical debt we have dependents that that are actually dependent on us for financial support and for for all of them 
their financial footing was already already in a very difficult in a very tight situation on top of that you have the pandemic and the ground shifted beneath them here's a direct quote from carla miller who's the author of this article i know for every success story i heard there are many more invisible struggles people with no pensions partners or pandemic relief to help them get by it's not like every single one of our fellow americans who needed it by the way got stimulus checks and unemployment benefits and the author also wrote this i can only assume they consumed with making ends meet this folks is a real challenge facing america today i want to know what you think in the comment section below let me know whether you agree or disagree with uh, with some of these comments because i can tell you that this is a very very challenging situation i know many of our fellow americans who plan to retire at the age of 65 but they can't retire because it's too expensive because health insurance is not affordable many of our fellow americans simply have to continue working just so that they can pay for healthcare folks capitalism is a major major problem for our country we need a balance in our country where people don't have to be forced to work just so that they can afford healthcare and this is a real real financial challenge facing our country today i can tell you that finding a good job is possible but finding a good job that that you can contribute to where you're treated well where you're not treated like a machine that offers you enough benefits that offers you the kind of wages you should get that offers you the kind of benefits you should get that really is the challenge you need to find a job that you enjoy that you contribute to where you're respected at work because at the end of the day folks life is a lot more than a paycheck we don't need to live large we can read we can travel we can have our own hobbies we can find our own interests and we can live life on our own terms but it's easier said than done especially in the climate that we live in and that is why i'm going to bring you back to the headline of this article towards the end of this episode of ignition time and that is exactly why a record number of americans are quitting their jobs some are relying on savings some are simply getting by with with social security others have to continue working because they need health insurance folks it's hard to make ends meet when you quit your job or when you retire but this entire pandemic has led to a reevaluation in every one's priorities and that is a real challenge from this pandemic thank you so much for watching please click like please click subscribe please enable notifications i work hard on this channel every single day and i'll continue to do so this right here is my twitter feed follow me on twitter my twitter handle is ignition underscore time that's ignition underscore time thank you so much for watching i appreciate you i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of ignition time don't forget to click like and subscribe thanks i'll see you soon take care bye